Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have an example circuit that is quite interesting. Definitely a little bit more challenging, but yet we can make it less challenging by realizing that there's actually four branch points to keep track of. So let's go ahead and color them. Here's our first branch point. All these various portions of the circuit is really just one point in the circuit. We can do the same on the other side. This is basically just one branch point in the circuit. Notice there's no devices anywhere within those dashed lines. And then we have a couple more. We have a branch point right here. And we have a branch point right here. So hopefully the different colors will help us keep track of these various branch points. Now starting out from A, notice this is a single branch point we're able to get to this branch point via this inductor, this inductor, or this inductor, which means going from the blue to the brown branch point. There's three different inductors, three different paths, so those paths are in parallel. Let's go ahead and draw them that way. So we're starting from, so this is going to be the equivalent circuit, starting from point A, we can see that there's a branch point and three inductors we can go through and they all come together into a single point right here, which means we have the blue. This is the blue right here. And we have the brown right here. And all of these three inductors have this L. But there's one more inductor right here that we can go to from the blue branch point. There's one more. It's kind of a side branch right here. So let's go ahead and inductor draw this right addition. here. So this inductor here is the same as this inductor there. Notice that inductor is parallel to this one. How do we do that? Well, let's continue with going from the brown to the red. So from the brown to the red, we have a single inductor. So this inductor here is the same as this inductor right there. So that inductance L. And then notice to go from the red branch point to the green branch point, again, we can get there through any one of these three inductors. So we have the same situations we had over here. So we're going to have another branch point like this with three inductors. L, L, and L. Then they come together here, which then connect to B. But what about this one up here, this inductor here, which is this inductor here? Well, let me redraw it a little bit so it looks a little bit more symmetric. Over here. L. Why did I do that? Well, notice that from the blue branch point, I can get to the green branch point by going through this single inductor right here. We can go from the blue to the green, and I haven't marked the green one yet. Here's the green one. We can go from the blue to the green through a single inductor L right here. So that is represented by this one. And now we have a complete equivalent circuit. Again, from the blue, we can, either, we can go to the brown through these three inductors, which is this one right here. From the brown to the red through the single inductor right here. From the red to the green through these three inductors there. Or we can go from the blue to the green simply through this inductor right here which is this path here. Now, when we've drawn it like this, it's a lot easier to find the equivalent inductance. First of all, when you have three in parallel, the equivalent inductance is simply one third of any one of them since they're all the same value, which means we can redraw this and this portion of the circuit as follows. We have A going now through a single equivalent inductor. We still have this inductor right there. And we have an equivalent single inductance here before we get to B. And then we have this one here, which is still here like that. This is A, this is B. This one is unchanged, so is this one. But these two are now the equivalent inductance of these three combined, which is one third L for this one and one third L for that one. The next step is we're going to take this top branch right here and realize these are three inductors in series. We can simply add them together. So L plus a third plus a third, that's 
2 thirds plus L. Well, let's go ahead and redraw the circuit like this. Going from A to B. We can either go to this single equivalent inductance or we can go to this one. This one is still L and this top one here is simply these three combined. That's 1 and 2 thirds L or 5 thirds L. So that's a whole plus 2 thirds gives you 5 thirds. And finally, here we have two inductors in parallel. There we have to use a product over the sum rule. So we're going to redraw this one as a single equivalent inductor from A to B. And to find that inductance, we simply use the product over the sum rule. So L equivalent or total is equal to the product 5 thirds L times L divided by 5 thirds L plus L. So this becomes 5 thirds L squared divided by 5 thirds plus a whole, that's 3 thirds. 5 thirds plus 3 thirds is 8 thirds. L, this cancels with that. The over 3 cancels, so we end up with 5 eighths L, which is 0 0.625 L. So the final inductance, the equivalent inductance of the circuit is 0 0.625 L, which is equivalent to the circuit up here. That's how it's done.